As officials rescued at least 14 dogs still alive from the house here on Main Street and Laurel Road in Marlton, neighbors and residents of Evesham Township looked on in disbelief. What's your reaction to all of this? It's horrible. It's devastating. How can somebody do that to a child and dogs? I'm an animal lover. According to police, officers discovered 30 dead dogs inside the house where 32-year-old Brandon Laconi and 35-year-old Rebecca Halbach lived with a 9-year-old child who is now in the custody of the state. The couple is facing animal cruelty and child endangerment charges. There's dogs in cages, um, live dogs in cages, dead dogs in cages, um, dead animals throughout the house laying on the floor. Um, yeah, I mean, it's pretty bad. Additionally, just today we had found that um, behind the home, there was also a burial spot where there was a large number of, uh, of dogs uh, you know, I guess various levels of decay. Dozens of dogs, possibly totaling a hundred. Police say they began investigating and went to the house last night after getting a tip from a North Carolina animal rescue that suspected the dogs the nonprofit provided to the couple to foster were dead. They became suspicious based on ongoing communication with the couple. They had sent a representative up to New Jersey um, to investigate. He went out to the home um, and he's the one that came into the station to initially report that that organization did provide them funding to provide for these dogs. Um, we suspect that funding was not provided to these dogs based on the condition they were in. At this point, investigators believe they died from being malnourished. Disgusted from the animals, having a ch child in there and for it being so close to my residence, it doesn't sit well with me. Oh, my heart breaks. My heart breaks. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.